good morning you guys welcome to the saturday vlog today we have a lot going on i look a little crazy right now but that's because i literally woke up threw my hair in a bun and went to dollar general and went to food line i am making a turkey today for the first time so i wanted to make sure i had everything i needed my mama is a real mvp i have been texting her like all week about different things and then like and yesterday I was asking her I was like so how long do I cook it and all this stuff and she's like well did you get one of those oven bags I was like no I didn't I was like but I feel like that might be helpful so I went and got that I got a pan to put the turkey in while I bake it um, I was just gonna get one of those cheap kind of aluminum ones you normally get and I wanted to get one of those for the macaroni and cheese too but they, I didn't see any at Dollar General or at food line and I'm gonna be honest I didn't really look that hard but I did find and I'll show you guys I found this pan that has like a roasting rack or whatever in it and it was only 10 bucks so I was like I might as well get that one that way if I have to make a turkey anytime in the future I can just go on ahead and use that so I went on ahead and bought one of those so I can have one in the future for the rest of the day I am cleaning and cooking like that's literally all I'm doing all day this living room, it's not a mess, but it's definitely not tidy, and we're going to have people over. Full disclaimer, of course we're being safe. We're doing everything we need to do to be safe, but we do have a few people coming over, and we are going to have Friendsgiving with them. So, I'm really excited, but I want, this is the first time they're seeing the house, so I really want it to look nice, be clean. I want all that clutter to be off of the, cab, the kitchen counters, and I need to wipe off the counters. I definitely need to clean our bathroom upstairs, it's looking kind of gross, and our bedroom upstairs. But I'll be showing you before and afters of everything I clean, but I won't do like a whole time lapse because I feel like I'm going to film myself making the turkey for the first time and I feel like that's going to be enough content for this video today. So it is 9.30 and Adam is working today. He is out in the field doing some stuff. He, him and his boss are trying to get a lot of stuff done before the holidays so he is going to work today until about 6 when we have people coming over. So I'm just here by myself cleaning. So I'm going to take this opportunity uh, and you probably hear the washing machine going. I I have to do clothes today too but i'm gonna take this opportunity make some decaf coffee i'm probably gonna go sit outside because it's kind of nice outside today and then i'll get my day started with cleaning all right guys it is a few hours later since i last checked in and we have a clean house now and i am dressed and ready to go took a shower did my hair all that stuff so here are the clips of the before and after for cleaning for you guys before after another before of the living room after before after before after before and after and then there are a few that I forgot to get befores of, so here are the afters for those. But it is about 3.15 right now, and it's going to take like two hours, two and a half hours, so I need to start the turkey now. So I'm going to brave my fears, and we are going to make this turkey together. <laughs> I have this rack. I guess that's what I'm going to put it on. And I'm just gonna go grab the turkey, I guess. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. This is a uh, 16 pound turkey. In case anybody was wondering, here's the pan that it's gonna go in eventually. I guess I should have put it. Nah, I think it'll be okay. So now I guess I need to open it. And I've been texting my mom all day, and she said that I need to get the neck and the gizzards out. Hopefully that's not that gross. And she says she just puts butter all over the turkey. So that's what we're going to do. And then I have the bag to put it in, I guess. So I guess I'll go ahead and take that out. There's the instructions. pre oven to 350. Okay, and then this is all after I open up the turkey. Okay, here goes nothing. Uh, while I'm opening this turkey, let me know down below if you've ever made a turkey before and how that went. <laughs> I 
I'm just hoping it doesn't turn out like National Lampoon's where they like, that was my alarm to start working on the turkey. Hope it's not like National Lampoon's where they like just cut into the turkey and it kind of just, I don't even know what you call it, it just like fizzled out, it was so dry. Also cut my finger the other night, so that hurts. Anybody who knows me knows that I don't like really touching raw meat, so. Okay, it looks okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and cut as much off as I can and then take it out from the bottom. It's a big turkey. Oh, it does have one of the red stuffer things. Okay, my mom asked me, she was like, does it have one of the buttons that pops out when it's done? And I'm like, girl, I don't know. <laughs> Ew, I really don't wanna touch it. <laughs> oh my God, why is it so heavy? Okay. That's disgusting. Picking directions. Okay, I guess. Do I keep that on there? Oh no. So I need to take it out from the neck area. Oh, I really don't want to do this. Oh, okay. There's that. I'm not cooking that. And then, is that all? It just says remove that package. It says place that in the refrigerator for later. Yeah, we're not doing that. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought. Expecting that to be a lot more gross than it was. Still didn't like touching the turkey, so yuck. Okay, there's like a chunk of ice right here. That like, hold that out like it was nothing. Okay, now it just says, okay, let me prepare the bag. That's what I need to do. I have the bag over here and I'll prepare that and then I'll be back. All right, it says to add one tablespoon of flour to the bag and shake. Put the bag in a pan that is at least two inches deep. Got that. Okay, so I need a tablespoon of flour. Okay, made an absolute mess with that. Put it in the bag. Okay, now it's just to put the bag in here. I don't know if I should take that plastic piece out. I'm gonna ask my mom. I feel like it would just, it would melt, right? Okay, send her a picture. Do I need to take this blue thing off? Question mark. <laughs> I know blue she'll answer me. Let's see how long I have to, all right, it's a whole turkey unstuffed, 12 to 16 pounds, two to two and a quarter hour, one tablespoon of flour, no adding water, and then it tells me what it should read at the end. All right, I think I can do that. Save this for next year since it comes with two. She said yes, I have to take that off. And she also said to take the package of stuff out. I was like, yeah, I took the package of guts out. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, why won't it come out? Well, did that. All right, well, that's fantastic. I just realized that that brack needs to go under the bag. <gasps> you guys are entertained by this because that's the only way it would be worth it I guess unless it tastes really good which I hope it does okay now I guess I need to rub it with butter before I put it in there so let me get a stick of butter all right she said just rub it all over so I need to melt this a little bit I'm looking at this turkey and I'm thinking why would Monica from France which I'm sure it wasn't a real turkey but like why would she put that on her head that's disgusting my friends would be glad I love them too, making this turkey. And I also realized that I like need to be an adult and learn how to make a turkey. So I was kind of like, yeah, probably best if I just kind of throw myself in there. Right. There we go. Took a little while in the microwave. Maybe a little too melted. It's kind of falling apart. Okay. I feel like I've put enough on there. Now I guess I'm going to move it into the bag by myself, which will be interesting. Okay, yuck, yuck, and more yuck. Now let's see what else the instructions are gonna have us do. Place ingredients in the bag. Okay, the turkey is in there. Cut six half inch slits on the top to let steam escape. Then tuck the ends of the bag onto the pan. Cook accordingly to the recipe. The bag will do all the work, locking in the flavor and basting the ingredients. So now I need to cut some six slits in the top, it says. Two. Three. Okay, now I need the tie. I guess that's how it goes. Okay, now I guess it just goes in the oven for, what did it say, two hours? I don't, I mean, I don't think I can mess it up. I'm just gonna keep a check on it and make sure I'm not like burning the bag or something, but I don't think so. I don't see where I could really mess it up too bad. Okay guys, so 
Here's the part where you pray for me that the turkey turns out fine. If it doesn't, we'll be making a trip to Bojangles for maybe like a tailgate special, but that's going in there for two hours and in about, I don't know how long, but eventually I have to make some macaroni and cheese as well. So I'll be doing that eventually. But today, after I got done cleaning, all I've been doing is, I really wanted to watch The Hunger Games we just finished reading the last book, well the newest book, not the last book of the trilogy, but the one about President Snow, and so I really just wanted to re-watch The Hunger Games. So this morning I watched Catching Fire, part one of Mike and Jay, and now I'm on part two of Mike and Jay, so I'm gonna go finish that. I'm gonna set a timer on my phone so I don't forget to make the macaroni and cheese, and I will see you guys in a little bit. It is the next day. <laughs> I forgot to close out the vlog last night. I just literally didn't think about picking up the camera when we had friends over and therefore I didn't close the vlog <laughs> because pretty much right after they left we cleaned up and then we went to bed. But I just want to give you a recap of last night. I'm sure you're wondering how the turkey went. The turkey turned out fine, tasted great, but it took a lot longer than the package said. Like I think it took about three hours to cook because it has a little button on it that pops out and says when it's done and took a while. Thankfully, I thought about that and I started the turkey earlier than like it needed to be and it was fun. And we all ate, everybody brought some food and we always do Secret Santa. We do Secret Santa where you, you're assigned somebody and then you get to guess who's yours is and everybody got it right last night. Like I think we've been, <laughs> we've all been friends for too long because now you can kind of guess who does what. <laughs> so, uh, that was fun and then we just kind of sat around and talked for a little while. I took a group picture like always, the girls always together. And then we ended up the night and that was it. So I'm gonna close out the vlog here so I can start the next vlog, the Sunday vlog. And I'll see you guys in that video tomorrow. Bye. Mm -hmm.